Evacuation beginning. Evacuation complete. Evacuation complete. 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 Evacuation complete. That's mega dark. That's really odd. Why is the brightness really, really low? That doesn't feel... Come on there. It's because of that. That really makes it dark, doesn't it? Space Marines. Who have we got watching? Um, what is it? New 40k. Warhammer 40k. Twitch streamer. Uh, select all. 
copy, share. Community group. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. So I've already done two of these. Also, we are. Skipping Lavender Town music. So naturally I sub-assembled this because there is tons that can go black, tons that can go red, but I made a little bit of a mistake with the missiles on the top as well. Uh, I glued them all together and then before I realised the glue had already set. Um, so I'm not doing them separately unfortunately. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah. Oh, just making sure it was you, are you okay? So there I should have sprayed all that black before I glued this one on, but then it was too late before I realised, so yeah, I'm going to have to brush it black unfortunately, which is annoying, it's really annoying. Uh, I did try to get the knife in and slice it off before it set too, f high, um, too firm, uh, but I was still too late. So that's an annoyance, but... It's not the end of the world, at least it's like the inside of the missiles, I suppose. So how the hell is everyone doing? Built the tech marine as well, that was quite fiddly. Mm-hmm. 
Are you kidding? You're too good at that. Was that part of your task as well? That's like number eight, nine and ten of the task as well. Uh-huh. Oh, the party Gengar. Oh, nice. Hang on, that means you got nine in a row. Oh, right, right, right. <clears throat> Why no airbrush in the bunker? Um, because when I already had 20,000 points of Blood Angels that were dry brushed and painted this way, I didn't want to change the um, painting method halfway through my collection. Um, and I'd actually, I only started learning how to airbrush after I'd painted the first wave of Primera stuff. Um, so that's why, because it would look vastly different to. Um, how the rest of my army would look and I didn't want that it's the same reason I haven't airbrushed my Dark Eldar because I'd already painted most of them which was an annoyance it's one of them things where hindsight, hindsight is a wonderful thing Um, I am definitely, definitely going to strip me Harlequins and repaint them, I think, though, because I'm really, really not happy with them, Roger. Cheers, Cass. I um, I sub-assemblied it, uh, and the only regret about sub-assembly was uh, these two bits. I wish I'd kept this bit off separately. <laughs> now we have a theme for the podcast. Cheers. What, airbrushing or, or why why have I done something wrong? <laughs> well not wrong, just should I change my painting methods of an army halfway through? The answer with the amount of blood angels I'd already painted was hell no. Mario Tune is interesting. Hope it goes with the Mario Kart. It was a remix of Mario Kart Double Dash Mario Circuit. Painting and changing styles, yes. That would be a very, very good topic to have with you, Roger. Yeah, I'll tell you what I've actually got, Cass. I've got an N64 emulator and Mario 64 for it. And our friends lent me Mario Kart Double Dash. And I've got a Wii under here that plays GameCube games. And I can technically stream it. The problem is finding the time to paint, record games, edit, and, and, and everything else in between as well. Um, I, I, it's too time consuming and that's why we didn't get um, Warcry done because like it was like half five when I was finishing work if I was in the office I wouldn't get back till six you know by the time I have my tea have a bath and stuff like I haven't got time to paint that entire thing and bearing in mind the week before I busted my balls to paint that Gargant uh, to film a battle report, edit it, and get that up. And I just didn't want to do it. Uh, 40k Epic Narrator was following. Thank you very much for the follow, man. I didn't get a chance to check out the rest of your channel yet, uh, Narrator. But I will do it later. Uh, tomorrow when I'm at work. Because I can stick my headphones in. And I am allowed YouTube at work, but not Twitch. Um, and I can't use me, me normal phone internet because there's no signal on site. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> no worries, dude. Um, Cass, as for how is Warcry, it, it's Warcry. Um, I played it a few times when the original first came out. It's a cool game if you like skirmish games. Uh, we never got into it, though, because as much as I, I think it, it, it is pretty cool and it's fun to just pick up and play, 
it's another game system that we just didn't have time to learn um, and there's not enough people that I could get to that were playing it um, and you know because I do work 45 hours a week <clears throat> just it's another thing that I just don't have time for and the thing is as well like as much as like it's great to actually live with Lucy now it's I'll be honest, I did bot all in my other house during the week. And Lucy knows this because she would tell us off when she would come around on a Friday. She was like, you haven't done anything? I'm like, well, no, because if I don't do anything or touch anything, it shouldn't get a mess. <laughs> but, uh, no, this house is much bigger. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on with it and stuff as well. So, uh, And then, of course, I want to spend time with Lucy now that I actually can every night. The other thing was as well is because I was by myself, I had nothing else to do, um, and I would, you know, sit and paint till midnight every night, and I'd be totally cool with that. Whereas now it gets like ten o'clock, and it's like, you know, I, I do want to go and spend a bit of time with Lucy. Oh, is this Alan? Right, <laughs> Alan's inviting me to a Pokemon Go raid in New York. So I need to put my brush down for a few seconds. Uh, he probably won't have time, he's just going for me. Wait there. Invite Lou to, she's on. Uh, where are you mate up north out here? We're from Sunderland. Uh, ooh, more Primaris boys. Yes, Steiner. Uh, apart from I'm literally waiting for Alan to invite me to a Pokemon raid uh, somewhere in America. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, I'm. I would continue painting, but apparently the raids in New York fill up very, very quickly. But yes, so I've sub-assembled this guy, so all the panels are separate. Uh, I've still got this one red one to paint. Uh, but we've... Oh. Gengar or Darkrai? Yeah, so I'll sub-assembly this. Uh, realistically, I should probably paint these red. I don't think I'm be bothered. The bunker's never going to see the table. It is a little bit of red. The black should break it up, but I'm basically going to dry brush all these, paint a couple of the bolts and stuff on it. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of like, light and glow and stuff in that in here. And then all of the um, bolters and the flamers are... I left off. I think they just slot in. Ah, they're going to need magnets. Yeah, they'll need magnets. That's not a problem though, that'll only take two minutes. Because there's quite a lot of plastic there, so I can actually just drill a hole straight in the back of it. Come on, Alan. Also, I'm just going to take a minute to tell you guys about a competition that I'm actually running at the moment. So you may notice the little spreadsheet down in the bottom left. Um, I am doing a bonus ball for a squad of Necron Warriors, an Overlord, um, and three Scarabs. Uh, and basically, it's a pound a number. You can choose your numbers if they're available. Uh, and once they fill up, I will build, paint, and post to you... Um, basically a Necron Patrol detachment uh, and it's a pound a ticket uh, and you can donate straight down below no invite yet uh, 
and then I need to finish me James R. But um, I also painted this up for um, Owen, one of my Patreons. Uh, so every month I'm starting to do a giveaway from my Patreons, normally one miniature. Um, so Owen won last month and he picked James R. So I painted this. Uh, and that's going to get sent off to Owen when I finish the base up. Uh, next month, however, for November, I will be giving away that Warcry starter set. Uh, if you are a Patreon on the 1st of November, uh, I will pick a winner. Uh, so every level of Patreon that you are, or every level of YouTube member you are, get you one raffle ticket. Uh, and essentially, I will choose a winner. Got it? I'm in, are you in? I can't invite you. You're not got it. There's only seven seconds left. Uh, yes, it is the Hammerfall Bunker. Two seconds. There we go. And now I'm battling my Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, Lou. I did ask him to invite you. There's 14 people in the lobby as well. He's almost half dead after like 20 seconds. Yeah, it was already, it's already started, he's nearly dead. Oh, he sent another. Yeah, we, I've... Killed him, whoever I was in with. <laughs> Alright, new stuff. But anything made after 2000 is new for me. Wow. So even Sanguinary Guard will be new for you. I'm almost done. I, I promise I've just got to catch this dude now. Did you make it in though? Good. I'm not going to catch this one, I know it. No, this is the first one. Well, with Alan, but I, I caught one earlier. If you get a chance, man, we'll see on stream. I paint mainly rogue. Yeah, I looked through your Instagram, man. You painted Mortarian for a Patreon recently. Nice. I'm getting great curveballs with the Golden Razin. I'm still not catching him. Oh, come on. But I think he's the newest thing I've ever painted. He's a nice model. Got him. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see who that rocket is first. See who he's got because that's too many dangly bits for you. Yeah, it was quite fiddly. Nah, Duskull, I'm not even bothered about this one actually. Right, let me 
turn my volume down. Eh? Uh, you got six rare candies. Uh, I don't know how many I got. I didn't even see. Ha! Huh, none! Again! Separate bush. Have you managed to catch him? Right, back to pin. Because Pokemon's not as important. Right. You got him. Nice. Uh, it actually looked better without, I think, one of the cherubs fell off. bit like a lady boy. <laughs> yeah, he was very fiddly. I did mine in so many sub-assemblies, man. Uh, even a big lad. Tony, how are we doing? Uh, so yeah, folks, the Excel document you see in the bottom left, we are currently running a Necron giveaway, or rather a raffle. Uh, so, it's a pound a ticket. Uh, and essentially what we will do is we will paint up the Necron Overlord, a squad of Necron Warriors and the three Scarabs in colours of your choosing. They're brand new, they're still on sprue. I'll build them, I'll paint them and I'll send them to you. And it's a pound a ticket. Uh, and you can pick your number if it's available down there on the bottom left. Right, which ones should we do first? So there we go. So what is everybody working on this evening? Now that I'm actually back to the hobby um, and not not Pokemoning. <laughs> I was Pokemoning a little bit earlier as well. Um, I was playing on Shield because we've got the Crown Tundra DLC. Uh, and I was watching uh, 360 Chrism and he was doing raids with viewers. And I managed to get on a raid with him. And caught some dodgy Pokemon that looked like a disco ball. Stripping a hero quest with Barbarian. Yeah, I remember you seeing that in um, in Mitch's stream. I have an almost brand new box of hero quests in that cupboard behind me. Uh, Going to be painting on stream later. Nice. Uh, Roger's painting Night Haunt still. Almost done. How many points have you painted, Roger? Or are you painting? <clears throat> I remember if, uh, just before I, uh, we moved, I did... Um, Thousand points of night haunt on stream uh, in two sessions, uh, eight hours it took me, and I did a thousand points. Uh, love the night haunt models. Actually, I painted them; they are new. Just two times the contents of Soul Wars. Fair enough. Starting the British Eighth Army in the morning. Are you starting uh, bolt action like Tony? <clears throat> is bolt action any good uh, I've heard people that, that do play it do enjoy it it's vastly different to 40k um, from what I understand and Sigma but yeah I think a lot of people do actually praise the mechanics of a ball action. The problem with ball action for me is it's historic and I have zero interest in it. I totally get the people love tanks and stuff. More paint that and law. Hmm. I mean the minis aren't as detailed as Games Workshop minis and the law isn't well the law is history, isn't it? Bolt action is a good rule set. Very, yeah, I've heard that, but I've never played it myself because the setting of the game doesn't appeal to me. It's like it's very similar, to like with me and Lucy. The setting of Age of Sigma appeals to her so much more than the setting of 40k does. The setting of 40k appeals to me more than what Sigma does, but I enjoy Sigma more as a game. I mean, 40k, I'm more painting and lore 
bless the game. See, I'm I'm kind of the what what I find there is right is there is several different aspects of the hobby, and and Roger will back us up on this, right? So you've got the law, you've got the painting or hobby side of it. Yes, within that you've got building, converting, and, and painting. Um, then you've got the gaming side of it, and it, it's kind of a battle of, the, of a three-pointed circle, essentially, right? So you've got the three aspects of the hobby. You've got the, the, the building and painting, you've got the gaming, and you've got the law. And what I tend to find is people lean into two of them and away from one of them a little bit. Not necessarily lean away, but there is less interest in that one. For myself, it's the law because I struggle to read uh, some computer... Yeah, I like playing some computer games. I I'll go on Nintendo Switch. Uh, I do stream some video games from time to time as well. Yeah, you agree. See, as much as I do game, I don't enjoy competitive gaming. I just... It's not for me. But I enjoy the hobby side of it. Um... I don't dislike the law. What with me, it's a case of I seriously struggle to read, and I struggle to absorb what I do read. So, through my own ignorance, I don't read. I don't even read the law in my codexes. How bad's that? Whereas Lucy, Lucy can read a book every t like she could read a book a day if she sat down and read it. But like Lucy reads sort of a book every. Well, when she's on a reading spree, probably every two or three days. And I just can't do that. I can't even read the law. Like, when 9th edition came out, right, and GW sent us Indomitus early, I literally had to sit down and read the book word for word and go really, really slow with reading the rules. And like Lucy will tell you, I read the rules, I had to write stuff down as I went, I had to read it back to myself like three times to make sure I was understanding it, and literally step by step. And that's something that I struggle with. Uh, for me, the good side of historical gaming is learning from the past. And a lot of people do enjoy that, Roger. But for me, I never enjoyed history at school. And I always remember, right, I was in year nine, and it was before we had our choices of what subjects to take for our GCSEs. So we still had to um, take history and geography and stuff then. And we had to do a project on castles, and it was all right. I didn't mind it that much, but it was a bit annoying. And it was when the, the teachers at the time used to say, right, you need a structure like this. You need an introduction. You need a contents page. You need... You know, this, that, the other, throughout your sections, and at the end you need a conclusion. In your conclusion you need to write what you liked about it, what if you liked it, if you did like it, what did you like, if you didn't like it, what didn't you like. And I always remember writing down, I didn't enjoy this project because I don't enjoy history, and I str struggle to grasp it. And I, I genuinely handed that in, right? And the teacher read it out in front of the class, and laughed at me. And gave me a detention for it. <laughs> for telling the truth. And doing what he told me. He said if you didn't enjoy it. Write why. And I did. I should listen to audiobooks. Yes I should. Uh, I am actually in the middle of listening to. Uh, Devastation of Baal. Uh, I've been listening to that on a Monday. When I go into work. You did history at uni. Fair enough. If that's your cup of tea. Fine. Right, I totally get that people love that. For me, I enjoyed art, obviously. Um, and I didn't really finish college properly the way that I should have. Uh, and then when I turned 30, I decided to go back to college and study accountancy. Uh, and that's why I now work in finance. History in school was different in my opinion, but I got a historic game from family history as my dad was in World War II. That's a cool story, Roger. Art history could fuck off though. <laughs> yes, when I did art at college, I always hated history of art because it was history. So I didn't care. I don't care what people did. 
I, I don't care that Van Gogh cut his ear off. I don't care that he did that screaming... I can't remember the name of the painting, but the screaming woman like that with the uh, church behind her. I don't care about the sunflowers. I don't care that George O'Keefe's flowers look like lady flowers. <laughs> However, one painting I did enjoy, and I made a 3D sculpt based on it, uh, was Monet's um, The Lake. You know, the, the bridge over the lake with all the willows and stuff. Like, yeah, I, I love that painting. And then, of course, there's uh, Jackson Pollock. He was quite famous. Andy Wardle was very famous. But uh, I was very much into, like, me kind of 3D imposing kind of thing. So, you know, like, when you go to home stores, like, in the UK, you've got the range. And you see all these canvases with, like, lumps and bumps on them and everything. Like, that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy doing. But the end of it is a hobby and everyone should exactly Roger, everyone should enjoy it. What's that? Oh, my phone crashed. Oh, Lucy, you jammy git. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so I did fancy painting something, but I didn't like. If I'm honest, I've struggled to find like my full painting mojo recently, um, and struggled to, like really sit down and concentrate on stuff. So I think that's why I wanted to do this bunker because it's like it's not hard to paint. It's very easy. There's not massive amounts of detail to it. There's not a metric ton of colours to it. However, I did enjoy on Friday and I think a little bit yesterday uh, finishing Ten Orc Boys for Lucy. So now she actually has um, enough to run a squad of 30 and two other squads of Orcs. I might try and paint something up on Tuesday night in the stream for her. Um, to try and get a couple of more get new stuff in games. She's got a few bits and pieces that she hasn't really used <clears throat> um, before. I streamed on Wednesday, tried to paint some Eldar. <clears throat> Epic. Um, I know I gave you a follow on Instagram earlier, and I presume you probably followed me back. Um, and Roger as well. i tell you what I'm after, and I would love, love, love to get my hands on one, right? Um... A rogue trader, land raider. I want one of them so bad, man. Stress me out. Needed a break for a bit to find my mojo. Well, see, I, I took... I took about a month off when we moved. And... Because I, I basically lived at Lucy's for like three three weeks. Uh, then when we moved in, obviously, I didn't have a table or anything. Uh, we had to get everything sorted out. So about about five or six weeks, I didn't really get anything done. Um, and I've just struggled to get back into it. They cost a bit, also many of them are damaged. Yeah, I know, I know. 
Do you know what? All right, I would even take if anybody found a 3D um, printing file. I've got a volunteer to print one for me, um, but I need the file. Or even something that's very close to it, but obvious, obviously not an exact copy, because that's, you know, copyright infringement. But a very close third-party model would be nice. Uh, the last cannons and heavy boaters are almost always missing. You could find one on eBay and just shove it in Mets. Yeah, that, that, yeah. I would be willing to pay a little bit for it, as in, you know, more than an actual current Land Raider. But I wouldn't want to be spending like hundreds of pound for it. No way. I've had my phone on loud because I was waiting for Alan to invite us to that Pokemon raid in New York, man. And then I forgot about it. I don't get notifications from all over the place. Hey, Noise Marine, how's it going? Been a while since I've seen you or even heard your name. I think I heard you um, in Bob's stream a couple of days ago. So I am currently painting up the new Space Marine Hammerfall bunker, which, despite it dropping in from orbit, does not drop in from orbit in the game. Off to bed, gotta get up at four. Good night, you all. Yeah, no worries, Roger. Catch you later, man. Thanks for tuning in. Just looked on eBay. <laughs> Am I going to cry? Jesus. <laughs> been busy working a lot lately. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite fortunate. I've been working from home four days a week since we went back into lockdown. Um, and I'm only at the office on a Monday. Oh. Way too much. Yeah. I guess there would be. Like I said, if I could find a print file of uh, a, a third-party impression um, or, or, you know, inspired by model, uh, I would very happily settle for that because I'm not, I'm not going to use it in competitive games. Like it's going to get used here in the house and maybe it's a battle bunker. And because I don't play tournaments, no one's going to care. Just stop by quickly. Yeah, no worries, man. I appreciate it. it, it it's good to know you haven't forgotten me. <laughs> but yeah, I think since the last time you've seen me, um, we're in a new house and we've obviously got a new studio and everything. So, yeah. Uh, me and Lucy bought a house <laughs> and got married. We were very, very lucky with the wedding. So we got married two days before they changed the guidelines to allow only 15 people at a wedding so there was 24 hours we were allowed the 30 uh so there was 24 which included me and lucy and then we had the two registrars as well so 26 is where we got to also dedicated red dry brush <laughs> Because, you know, red stains everything to hell.
Lou. Happy one month wedding anniversary. <laughs> I thought, hang on, it must have been four weeks and realised it was four weeks on Friday. But technically it's a month today because it's the 25th. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like, I think, seven weeks now since we got the keys to the house. Maybe it's more. 21. Yeah, it was only seven weeks two days ago. Yeah, seven weeks. That's nuts. Seven weeks and it feels like like forever in a good way. Oh god, I know. What about me drink? Mm. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, the, the last couple of weekends have been a bit odd because we haven't really had much to do because we can't really go anywhere. We're not allowed to see other people. And <clears throat> My mum came and dropped some blinds off this morning So, because uh, I ordered some blind fabric and my mum basically made us some new um, vertical blinds and we just took all the mechanisms down, cleaned them, washed them. Uh, and then put them all back into the new blinds. So we saw her for about 30 seconds. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's only been me and Lucy on the channel since we moved in. Because, like, we're not allowed to mix households. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, it's kind of weird. Because, like, before, right? Before we got the house. She learned to play Blood Bowl. No, Tony. No. In fact... Lou, Tony says we should learn to play Blood Bowl. Her exact response was, hmm. I actually live in China and fucking being stranded in the UK since January. Only came here on holiday to see my mum, dad and old mate. It's a fucking mess. Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's shit. We were, so when COVID first hit, uh, obviously I had my own house, I lived by myself. Lucy used to come around on a weekend, because uh, Lucy lived with her mum and dad. And when COVID hit, it was basically, well, you can't see each other for like weeks. So I went about five or six weeks totally by myself. Um, only meeting my mum for a walk with the dogs outside because you were allowed to uh, as long as you stayed apart um, and then <coughs> sorry after that uh, Lucy then decided to come to mine um, and basically she couldn't go and see her parents and her mum had been very very poorly so Lucy stayed at mine for like five or six weeks. And at that point they said if you're a single household, you can mix with one other household in a support bubble. 
So because I was a single household, obviously I chose Lucy and her parents as my support bubble. Uh, and that was fine, you know, that was going along quite well. And then they eased restrictions a little bit so we could actually go and see my mum and dad um, and visit friends. And then obviously it all kicked back off, literally leading up to the wedding. So we got very, very lucky with that. Um, and then we bought a house in the middle of it as well. Uh, hoping to be back in two weeks, but then we'll... Tyrannic is hosting with uh, one viewer. Thank you very much for the host, Tyrannic. Hope you're well. Hoping to be back in two weeks, but then we'll have to do two weeks quarantine in government hotel at my... That is absolutely trash. That's absolutely trash, man. And yet the UK just lets people in and doesn't give a damn. I bought a flat in Guangzhou in December. And you've been paying for it and never been in it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just been lurking a while. Fair enough, man. Yeah, I started a little bit late because I was um, I was watching a streamer that I follow that plays a lot of Pokemon, um, and the new DLC just come out for Sword and Shield, uh, and he was doing raids with viewers, so I jumped in on one of them with him. Otherwise, I'd have been on pretty much bang on seven otherwise. But yeah, if anybody has any idea where I can find a file for a 3D printed rogue trader looking land raider model, I would be over the moon if you could forward that to me. Because that is something that I would absolutely love to get my hands on. Also, new pre-orders are up next week. And uh, I'm very thankful that it's going to be a very light week for me. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can find one for you, mate. If you can, would you mind actually forwarding it to Mitch? Because I'm going to pay Mitch to print it for me. But that would be epic if you could find that narrator. Um... So yeah, it's Space Wolf and Death Watch stuff, and that, whilst I do have a Death Watch army, um, I don't need any new models for it. I'm not piling all the new Space Marine stuff into it. I'm not... I can't do that. Not not when my Blood Angel collection is as big as it. I can't double up on that. So it's literally going to be um, Death Watch cards. I don't have Space Wolves, so I don't need the Space Wolf cards. Um, I don't need either of the star collecting boxes. Um, as much as the Space Wolf one actually looks quite good value, um, I don't need it. So I'm very grateful that I only have to order the cards. And the Imperial Armor book is coming out as well. For all the Forge World model rules. That's going to be interesting because a lot of the old Forge World stuff was incredibly overpowered. I wonder how hard they are going to hit the Leviathan Dreadnought with the Nerf Bat. Because my god, that thing alone is too good. Then on top of that, if they give a Duty Eternal, which all the other Dreadnoughts now have... That's going to be savage, man. 
I mean, it's toughness here. 14 wounds with a 2 up armor and a 4 up invulnerable save. And it's like, oh, I'm going to take 2 guns at 8 shots each, strength 7, minus 2, 2 damage. Oh, by the way, I hit on 2s. Like, Leviathans are too strong. They really are. One thing that I think would fix them is limit them to taking one ranged and one combat weapon. Not two ranged weapons. Because that in itself makes them too overpowered. <coughs> I'm going to mute my phone now. You all right? Yeah, of course you can. Actually, I've just thought of a really cool um, tutorial for, well, I say tutorial, video for tomorrow, and I might record it later on tonight. Um, about what tools are in my hobby kit. Evening ladies. How are we doing, Terry? Terry, I'm about two-thirds of the way through that uh, task that you sent me. I'm hoping to get it finished this week. Cool stream, mate. Hope to catch it again. Uh, I stream uh, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for popping in, narrator. I appreciate it, man. Uh, check for the Land Raider. Land Raider sounds funny. Don't say Land Raider around Terry. You'll probably like palm that off onto us and grief us for it. How did you get your other parcel back off customs yet? So, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Demon Skips, who is currently in chat, uh, he is the one who makes all of the resin bases that you see a lot of our armies on. He makes the dice trays, the turn and uh, command point counters. He makes movement trays. Uh, looking forward to seeing it all. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'll send you some pictures tomorrow or Tuesday. But yeah, um, check him out. If there's something that he has or hasn't got uh, that you want, drop him a message tomorrow. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll uh, take some pictures after work. They're actually all downstairs because we were watching... Uh, Watching some TV yesterday and I didn't want to sit up here. Um, so I took a big board downstairs with them all on. Did I do that one? I can't remember now. Yes. Have I done them all? Yes. And there is the red. Done. Dunsies. I will stream it tonight, mate, if you got some time when you finish. Cool. Oh, mate, absolutely I will. I'll probably be here at about 10, I think. Uh, so if you're still on then, I will definitely drop by. Right, now to fill in the black. No, the box arrives tomorrow. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <coughs> Finally picked this up as well. Uh, I ordered that last last week or the week before. Um, and Justin the Battle Bunker ordered... I think he only ordered two because only two people wanted them, right? And he ordered the... 
Um, Sons of Beermat data cards for me and a calendar. And because the calendar was on 70 days order, they basically went, oh uh, yeah, we're not sending you the rest of your order. And Justin was like, fuck's sake, man, just end us the rest of it. So they split it, but only they turned up so far. So I'm still waiting for my cards. But yeah, they turned up on like Thursday, but obviously I only went down on Saturday. Alright. I haven't really got a bigger brush than this, I don't think. Oh man, I can't believe I uh I realized after I glued them on and then that uh, I could have kept this part separate and sprayed it up separately. But never mind. Terry, after seeing all of your Harlequins, right? Um, and being extremely unhappy with mine for a long time anyway. Uh, I think at some point I may repaint my Harlequins. Like, entirely. Like, strip and repaint. Yeah, no worries, Narita. Catch you later, man. Do it, do it, do it. Yo, mate, I am, because I painted them originally when I couldn't airbrush. Um, and then when I learned how to airbrush, I bought a stencil and painted flip paint triangles on the front, diamonds on the front. And I thought it would make them look better, and it's just, I'm not happy with them at all in the slightest. So, yeah, full strip and repaint, unfortunately. But uh, I think painting diamonds will probably kill me. Uh, I know you tried to airbrush them, Terry. How, how how hard or awkward was it? Would you say do it or would you say don't do it? really easy <laughs> is that sarcasm but like could you only do that on the cloaks because like painting diamonds on the legs of guys I'll send you a link to the stencil I used cool but like obviously on the back of a cloak it's not so bad you can kind of get away with that I think I also need to set, decide on a like a fixed theme as well because mine was custom and I just stuck with like the same three or four colours. So, what have people been watching on uh, telly and stuff recently? Seeing as there's no uh, cinemas at the moment, me and Lucy's been trying to start watching a lot more films on Netflix and Amazon and stuff. 
Uh, so we recently watched uh, Series 2 of The Boys, uh, which was really good. We are currently watching Away on Netflix. We're, I think we've watched seven or eight episodes. It's just annoying that they've already cancelled it and they've only done one season, man. Uh, we watched Enola Holmes on Netflix as well. That was quite good, actually. There are some awesome themes that don't use many diamonds. Stripes are pretty cool. Stripes are also hard to get in a straight line, Terry. be continuing Star Trek Discovery in the Haunt in a Blind Manor. Yeah, we've watched um, Discovery up till the end of Season 2 last year, so we will watch Season 3, but I think we'd rather just wait until there's a few more episodes. Um, but yeah, that, that way is it's decent. It's not like out of this world. Well, <laughs> out of this world. Um, yeah, it was canny. Not if you have dainty hands like mine. Yeah, but not all of us are five foot four, Terry. Um, haunting of Bly Manor. Not our cup of tea. Man in the High Castle. What's that on, Terry? Something that we added to our watch list on Netflix was uh, Another Life with Katie Sackhoff. I don't know if anyone's watched that. It looked alright. Just started Norseman. I know uh, the Mandalorian season two is coming out soon, but uh, Lucy tried to watch the first series with us, but she just couldn't get into it. Um, so I'll probably watch that one by myself. Five foot six and on Amazon. I'll tell Lou to have a look at it and see what she thinks. This is the worst bit about Blood Angels, is blocking in all the black, and this is why I seriously, seriously regret gluing those two parts together. I wish I'd realised before I stuck them together. But never mind, we're nearly done now. Blood Angels Bunker, yes McPherson, absolutely a Blood Angels Bunker. And it will go very proudly on the door just over there, and it will keep the door open. Because I'm probably never going to use it. But, my Blood Angels are a collection. And now that we can use Centurions, 
Uh, I need to get myself some of them, but they're a lot of money. And again, probably never going to see the table. Um, so I'll probably grab some when... I, I'm surprised people haven't started selling them yet, because they're not core. Like, I've been keeping an eye on the selling pages on Facebook as well, just in case someone's selling some cheap ones. So I know a lot of people have joined us since I mentioned it last time. Uh, so if you notice the little spreadsheet in the bottom left hand corner there. Um, we are going to be raffling off a set of Necron Warriors, an Overlord uh, and a unit of three Scarabs. I will build and paint them for you. I'll tell you what, I'll even get a set of Space Tech bases off Turi to put them on, right? And I will be giving them away to the winner of the bonus ball. Uh, once we sell each ticket, which is a pound uh, per ticket, we will raffle them off and I'll build and paint them to the winner's colour choices and post you them. Um, could at least use it to block line of sight to a Thunderfire Cannon. But Thunderfire, Thunderfire Cannons are crap and I don't own any because we could never take them before. Now we can. And I ho again, I hoped to have seen a load of these up for sale. And I haven't. What is core and how does it work? Okay. So, a captain. Now, instead of rights of battle, which allows units within six to reroll hit rolls of a one, a captain now allows um, units, core, sorry, so Blood Angel core units within six can reroll ones to hit. So cause an extra keyword that is added to several units in the codex. Uh, so his reroll hit rolls of a one will only affect a unit if that unit has the core keyword. For Space Marines, all bikes, dreadnoughts, and infantry that aren't characters have the core keyword. Centurions don't, Invictus Warsuits don't. Any tanks don't, transports don't, uh, any characters don't, even the Leviathan Dread. We don't know, because they haven't updated the rules for that yet, but they have confirmed that that book will be available to pre-order next week. However, if you were to check my YouTube channel on Saturday, if Games Workshop send me anything early... And allow me to preview it. I am normally allowed to do previews from 10am on a Saturday. If I have them contents. But at the moment, no. Because the Leviathan Dreadnought doesn't have the core keyword. Therefore, he can't, uh, can't use rerolls. For Necrons, it was a little bit different because you've got Dynastic Agents, which is like your Triarch stuff. And because they don't long belong to a specific um, dynasty, they don't have the core keyword. Interestingly enough, Destroyers didn't have the core keyword either. That's a big hint. But, Terry, I, I genuinely don't know. I tend not to find out. If, if I am given something to preview early, I tend to find out on a Wednesday, right? At which point I then basically got three days to record everything, edit it, and get it uploaded, whilst also working nine and a half hours a day. I guess that's because they'll likely announce stuff later on. No, because stuff goes up for pre-order at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, they've already confirmed what is going up for pre-order, um, and by having GW support. They sometimes send me stuff early to, to review, but I'm not allowed to discuss anything before 10 a.m. on a Saturday if they send me anything. Um, and like I said, I don't normally find out till really late. Which is why when they sent me Warcry last week, it, it came on like Wednesday, and I'm like, I am not busting a ball to build, paint, play, record, edit, and upload. A single game of it because I was never going to do it again um, 
yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's for me, it wasn't worth losing sleep over it. I appreciate them sending me it. Yeah, you'd need a whole team just doing. If I didn't work full time, then I could do it. Like Gorilla Miniatures built and painted theirs, right? But if you consider Ash, he's doing it full time, and then if he gets a box, he gives half of it to Owen and goes, "There you go, Owen. You paint that half. Here's half the terrain. I'll paint this half and this half of the terrain." I mean, even Mikey at Hellstorm, because Mikey is doing it full time, he was able to at least build and base court have a practice game and record a game I don't finish work till half five <laughs> and it's me and Lucy but yes it's it's a mega big ask and I would need I would need a full-time employee and I don't make enough to do that this month I got 67 pound from YouTube I don't get a lot. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful for my Patreons because they do support me um, and do allow me to try and keep up with all the releases. Uh, however, I still haven't been able to because I bought, literally, uh, I bought him and the Doomstalker from the Necron side of things. I bought nothing else Necron. Uh, I did, however... Um, by two gargants. But yeah, when it's just me, literally recording everything, then editing it all, on top of the fact I've now got slower internet than what I had at my old house, I I physically can't keep up whilst working a full-time job. So that is why, uh, because the Patreons have been able to basically help me keep up with releases and stuff, um, I'm trying to give something back to them every month now. Um, so like I said earlier, Owen uh, won last month's competition, um, and I pinned up a Jane's R, uh, and that's getting sent to him, uh, hopefully next week. Uh, and then next month, I'm, I'm actually going to give away the Warcry set. Uh, as much as it would be cool to have the, the K9 Shadow Stalkers for the Daughters of Cain, um, I'd rather just give the whole set to somebody that's going to actually use it um, because I won't get round to it unfortunately should I paint that in yeah let's do that Coming in with the subscription. Thank you very, very much, Tyrannic. I really appreciate that. Uh, you guys that are currently in stream as well, if you don't already follow, follow Tyrannic Veteran, please go and give him a follow. He's a fantastic painter. He streams during the day as well when I'm not around. Uh, so I tend to miss a lot of his streams, unfortunately. Um, unless I'm lurking here when I'm working from home. Uh, but yeah, go and check him out, man. Plus his crack is fantastic.
big heart. Also, there is a fantastic Blood Angel emoji as well if you uh, now want to be able to use that Tyrannic as well. There's also a the Bad Moon. Okay, my laptop's talking to me, my work laptop, and I haven't even touched it. It's been closed since Friday. Uh, looking forward to painting your own stuff soon. Oh, your, your own stuff soon. Nice. What have you got to paint? Please tell me, Blood Angels. that man that's uh, that, that that young female there is blaze from streets of rage uh, yeah I've been watching a lot a lot of streets of rage for speedrunners recently and I did kind of get into it myself uh, before we moved but then I just haven't been able to get back into it sweet sweet ultramarines nids and a tech priest nice I'm gonna have to nip to the toilet. Evacuation beginning. Evacuation come up. Evacuation come up. Come up. Come up. Evacuation come up. Evacuation complete. 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 Evacuation complete. 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 Evacuation complete. 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 
Evacuation come up. Evacuation come up. Come do. Evacuation. There we go. I'm back. Hmm. Oh, what? No. Oh, I've broke me. Oh, no. Where's my desk chair? Can someone help me fix this, please? So, I normally have my playlist thing down the side here. Evacuation complete, yes. Is it that? Mini player? No. Default view. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> so yeah, folks, if anybody would like to be in with a chance to win some Necrons or a pound, the bonus ball is down on the left-hand side there. You can pick any numbers you want that are available. And for a pound, you could win... A Necron Overlord, a squad of Warriors, and three Scarabs. And I'll even put them on some Necro uh, Space Tech bases, courtesy of Demonscapes. And I'll paint them up in colours of your choice. Right, that's the bulk of the black done, but there is some more to do. And which brush are we going for? That one. And do you know what? I'm going to get some fresh black because that one is nearly wrecked. So how's Lucy enjoying married life? Um, <laughs> she shouts, she loves it. I think I'm being an annoyance. Because I lived by myself for eight years. Right, she, are you coming in? It was Terry that was asking.
You can't, you can't, she, she's literally just there off camera because the, she's out the door, she's leaning in. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm being annoying because I leave stuff everywhere, I don't clean up everything straight away. No, it's, you're not at all, it's just, you want to do stuff but you get distracted by Warhammer so very easily I try not to and you see it ask us to do something I'll ask you a few times you will not do it because you forget and then I do it and then you'll jump up because she tries to overdo it and won't take no for an answer <laughs> Terry says hi hope you well they can probably just hear you because the mic's picking you up a little bit. But, how pleased are you, Lucy, that I painted some more orcs for you? It's very pleased the purple looks amazing. <laughs> Do you know, it's literally Jean Steeler purple washed with Druji Violet, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, if we play another game of 40k this week, uh, would you like some new orc units in your army? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or would you just like more of the same thing that you've already got? Well, you've got that shock jump drags to the top, paint that will finish that for you. Mm -hmm. You started your mega knobs, I could probably do them. Yeah. Pick one of them and I'll finish them on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The mega knobs. Okay. Uh, oh, Terry says he can hear Lucy. That, that's really mad, right? Because the mic is here, like, two feet in front of me, and Lucy's, like, four, eight feet away from it. <laughs> I think that's been handed in the Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Tyranny says, I mean, I can't blame you. Warhammer is very distracting. It is. <laughs> what is annoying, though, is I like to clean, and I spend a long time cleaning the kitchen. Blink, he's been out, sprayed something, brings it back in, and but, dumps it all on the bench. But at least I put it on something so that when it's dry, I can literally bring it straight upstairs. And I have done that with the bunker. That is true. <laughs> I might have just forgot the gargants for a day and left them on the dinner table. <clears throat> Keep buying me Lego. I'll forgive you. But you tell me off when I buy your Lego saying, but you need to build it because you bought it. It was a joke. Well, she's getting more Lego soon because the, um, oh, what's it called? The Marvel stuff will be probably be going out of production very soon, so I need to grab it before Christmas. Even if I put it away for Christmas for her. Well, wind of distraction. Again? Have you left it on the dinner table? Probably. We, um, I need to try and work out two lists and a battle plan for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to try and film a game of Age of Sigmar tomorrow. Because the, the Tau versus Blue Angel game that's uh, up for Patreons at the minute, um, we it took us three days to play it just because, like, and um, it, it's hard enough for Lucy to play a game in one sitting, right? But when she's doing all the house, she's not doing all the housework. When she busies herself with doing housework and cleaning and cooking and baking she overdoes it and she won't listen to us when I tell her to stop and she's already hurting by the time we start a game which means by the time we get through a turn or two like she, she's hurting So, and especially because like the first two turns of 40k, possibly the third, 
are the longest. Whereas at least with Sigma, because she enjoys it a lot more, she will press on a little bit and we can normally do a game of Sigma. If the game is decided by like turn three, we can pretty much wrap it up then. Um, with a very quick turn four or five. Uh, but with 40k we can't. Uh, so hopefully we will get a game of Sigma film tomorrow. I spent ages looking through Insta at all Lucy's Lego. Very cool. She mainly has Marvel and the Harry Potter stuff. Um, I don't know if she's put the picture... I, in fact, I don't even know if we took pictures of Diagon Alley. Um, we couldn't join it together, though, because we haven't got anywhere big enough downstairs to store it. So all four pieces of it are separate on top of the bookcase. Because uh, you can kind of put them on at an angle and like line them up and they kind of fit. Um, but yeah, she's got all the Harry Potter stuff that's been out in the last couple of years. Uh, she's got all the Marvel stuff, barring the last batch of stuff that came out. Um, she didn't get the giant castle either, though. We've got to head off and enjoy the rest of your stream. No worries, Tyrone. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I'll hopefully catch you during the week if I'm... Uh, well, I, I think I have to go into the office two or three days this week. Because uh, my boss is coming up from Leeds. Um, so we you know, need to have a good catch-up and make sure everything's on top. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll try and catch you later in the week if you're on. But uh, she's only got three other pieces of Lego Terry that aren't Harry Potter or Marvel, and that is the Saturn V rocket, the ISS, and the Lunar Lander. But um, she's very, very much into her space. Like documentaries and stuff. Hey, crew boy. Uh, it's, it's going very well, thank you. You can, uh, of course, see most of the new studio behind me. We'll be streaming Wednesday and Sunday, but for definite, might pop up another day. Yeah, I'll try and catch you on Wednesday if I'm not in the office, uh, if you're on during the day. If you're on on the night, I might catch you if you're there. Yeah, so those three cupboards there, two of them are filled with entirely painted armies. The third is stuff I need rid of. There is another cupboard just here uh, with all of the, uh, a lot of the terrain in. We've got a lot of the terrain underneath and... That's where all my blood angels are going to go. And uh, that is where one or two of the armies will go. And of course this is my desk. So yeah, remember folks, if you just joined us, we are currently doing a Necron Patrol Detachment bonus ball competition. It's a pound a ticket, and once all the tickets are sold, uh, the winner, which will be drawn at random, will receive uh, a Necron Overlord, a squad of Warriors, and a squad of Scarabs. And I will paint them up on a set of Space Tech bases from Demonscapes. Uh, if requested by the winner, but I will paint them up in colours of the winner's choice. So if you would like to get in on that, you could win a Necron Patrol Detachment for a whole pound.
This bush is crap. <sighs> Let's go a different one. Mighty Bill is online. Have you thought about running a crusade campaign? Yes. Uh, I looked at the rules and went, uh, this is too much to read. <laughs> yep. And time. Because, let's be honest, GW have chucked a lot at me the last couple of weeks. So I had the Space Marine book and the Necron book. Then I had the Gargans. Then I had Warcry, which granted I didn't do everything with. Uh, and then I don't know if I'm getting anything this week. Trying to then do everything with reviews, play stuff that we actually want to play, i.e. AOS, <laughs> uh, and then try and do a Crusade campaign, and then it's more paperwork to keep hold of and keep track of. <laughs> if I can convince Lucy to have a read of the rules and teach me, then maybe. Maybe. However, Lucy's not a fan of keeping track of, of more and more and more stuff, and I'm not. But yeah, that, that's the reason I haven't gone for it, Terry. Uh, I smell heresy. Uh, May gives at Monday that the Space Wolves and Deathwatch Codex were going to be in two weeks was right. Fair enough. Yeah, I've seen that the um, article went up on the page, Daniel, confirming that that's what's available for pre-order next week. Also, I don't like this. Uh... Yeah, Metroid relaxing and um, ambient. We're just about to start a campaign and it's fairly simple. There's plenty of downloads available to help track. Is there? If there's an app or a document that I can download that will keep track of it, then maybe. However, you should message the Mrs. Terry and you convince her because I'm, I'm not having that discussion with her. <laughs> and they make Reaver version of Space Wolves. Yeah, I see. I'm forgetting what they were called them, but they were like anti psycho or psycho hunters, weren't they? I'll send them to you and 
Buzz, yes, it's already done. Cool. We, uh, we're going to try and play a game of Age of Sigmar tomorrow, but we haven't decided on armies. Other than I'm probably going to use Beast Claws. Because the snow mat's out, I'm just going to leave the snow mat out. It means you get, like, one battle report on one mat, and then the next battle report's on the same mat. But, it doesn't matter, it's a different game system, isn't it? I guess it's Crusade program the be it bunker have marked. Maybe I'll have to I'll have to see what Lucy thinks about it to be honest. And it is a good way to keep things fresh whilst only playing Orcs because we did get it to play Tau over the week. Um and because she's only used to orcs, it was a lot for her to take in. I've never looked at that. Oh no, I just realised I haven't pinned any of that black. Oh well. Jacob, how's it going, man? I haven't seen you in, like, forever. Because, you know, can't go anywhere. <laughs> it's not bad. How the hell are you doing? Mostly meant for focusing on some units you have in Crusade Army, like your player. Found a thousand point game will have Crusade Army up to 1300 points and take what you want. Ah, okay.
busy with uni work at the moment, pulling another all nighter with coffee at the helm to work for tomorrow. Nice. Uh, because I took a week off at the beginning of September and then a couple of days when we got married, I kind of fell behind with work a little bit, like work work. And it's just been literally non-stop for like a month, more than a month, and I still haven't even caught up properly. I'm close, I think I can get close, like by the end of this week I should be fully caught up. Nice, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Other than that, I'm just doing my M Warriors, redoing my Night Lords, and completing my Red Corsairs. Nice. Yeah, we got very, very lucky with the win, Jacob. We uh, we got married three days before the rules changed from uh, 30 people to 15. So we got very, very lucky. Yeah, do you know what? It was nice that it was low key. Like, we weren't allowed a DJ, and it was just like, you know what? That's fine. So, they just played the music that was getting played into the bar through uh, quite low on the speakers. And do you know what? It was nice. Everyone could hear everybody. And as long as we sat down at the tables, it was fine. And we had our closest friends there, and everybody had a really nice day. Um, even, the, even with the 10 o'clock curfew, it wasn't that bad. Like, Lucy was obviously wrecked by like 9 o'clock, well she was wrecked by 6 really, but she kept going like a trooper. And the only thing that was a little bit off-putting was that we finished the um, reception meal at like 6 o'clock. And then they wanted to serve us the buffet at 8, where like nobody was hungry by 8 o'clock. But the problem was they had to serve it that early to get it all gone and out the way, ready to pack up at like quarter to 10. And my mum just went, well Lucy asked, but my mum basically said to us, and then she went and pressed them after Lucy asked, look, nobody's that hungry, serve people what they want, but really you should give people to take away in boxes because nobody is gonna eat the buffet two hours after eating the three course meal. And do you know what the staff did? The only issue I had with the staff, right, was it was table service only for drinks, right? But they wouldn't come round. So several people got up and went to the bar, obviously with masks on. Can we order drinks? Yeah, you need to go and sit down at your table. Well, fine, but like I've been waiting an hour. I want drinks. <laughs> spent the last two hours dry brushing bases. My mojo was almost spent. Terry, I'm not surprised, mate. That was the only gripe we had about the venue was the fact that and I mean the buffet was out of their control really. They 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 did what they could do. But my mum was like, Well really you shouldn't have even paid for a buffet and just not had it. And I'm like, Yeah, but mum, at the end of the day we've managed to get the wedding. Like, I'm not gonna twist over that, it's fine. Um but the, the, the staff not coming to serve us as much as we liked. I mean, come on, it was a wedding party. People want drinks.
Nah, it's enough. It doesn't need more in there. Toe, did you see that new Necromunda terrain as well? Went up for pre-order yesterday. It looks so cool, man. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, hey, uh, what do we think of the new Necron Marines? The new Marine Codex is very nice and very balanced. Uh, obviously, there's still some things in there that are very good. As a whole, though, the change to the core mechanic, the fact that you can't take two captains in a squad, the maximum you can have in a, in a detachment is one captain and two LTs, it's good. The stratagems aren't overpowered. They're enough to add a few little quirks and bonuses, but nothing is too... Nothing's too broken. Uh, I'm sure what I'll need any soon, but maybe Christmas. Fair enough. There's a few bits of the newer uh, 40k terrain out there I would really like. Um... But obviously I'm trying to keep up with the Marine and the Necron releases. Um, the Necron stuff, Jacob, I think is much better than what it was. Again, I don't think there's anything stupidly broken in there. Apart from maybe it's the Nightbringer. <laughs> um, nah, I don't think he's broken. I, th I think he's very good, even though he's 350 points. forward to getting on with my new Necrons, Black Templars and Sons of Medusa, nice. Can I tempt you with a Necron Patrol detachment, Jacob? It's one pound per bonus ball ticket. And uh, that little spreadsheet at the bottom left there, for every pound that you donate, uh, you'll get a ticket. And I will paint up a Necron Overlord, a squad of warriors and scarabs uh, in the winner's choice. And of course you can pick your own numbers as well. Oh god, this lead belt is nearly dead, I forgot about this. Could be fun. Where would I have to sign up? Are you on PC or mobile? Oh, sorry, are you using the app or are you using your PC? PC. So if you go beneath my... Um, scroll down a little bit there should be a paypal link on the twitch app on pc <laughs> somewhere in my profile there's a button for you to donate 
for every pound that you donate, tell me what numbers you want, uh, and I will put those down on the spreadsheet for you. It's the new Overlord, the new Warriors, and Scarabs, and I will paint them up uh, in the winner's uh, choice of colours. Trying to donate now, having problems trying 15 minutes. Yeah, no worries, crew boy. I appreciate the uh, the thoughts and gestures. Thank you very much. If anyone needs help with the app, I can kind of show you where to go. Which numbers can I take? I can't see the spreadsheet. No worries. So, you can't have 6, you can't have 11, you can't have 22. Anything else between 1 and 30 you can have. There you go, just for the minute. And that goes for anybody else as well, if anybody else wants to be in with a chance. Like I said, it's £1 per ticket, and you get a Necron Patrol detachment. And I'll paint it up in the colours of your choice, how you like. So if you want some airbrush and glow on there, I will gladly do it. If you want the painting in flip paints, I can do that. Any colour scheme that you wish. Whoa, Jacob coming in with £4. Thank you very much. 24, 25, 12, and 1. Jacob, 1, 12, 24, and 25. Jacob, thank you very, very much. Your kindness is greatly appreciated, my friend. Yeah, we've got a whole host of different colours. We've got tons of the green stuff well flip paints. We've got a ton of the Turbo Dark ones. Uh, we've got some really, really nice gold and silver metallics from Turbo Dark as well. Um, yeah, we've got all sorts of colours, man. Um, even if that's just the base colour, we can then do all sorts of different glow. We can do rust, we can do weathering. Anything that you want on there.
that can't Super Mario RPG. What happened to Super Metroid? Uh, Fluke Skywalker, hey my dudes! Anytime if I win then I'll have, I'll have achieved getting my goal of 60 warriors for the Thoked Dynasty. Nice! Right, I'm off shower and TV in bed. No worries Terry, thank you very much for joining me, I appreciate the company mate. Look after yourself and I look forward to seeing uh, some pictures hopefully tomorrow uh, of your special delivery. Um, yeah, Fluke Skywalker, if you've just joined us, uh, we are currently running a bonus ball uh, in order to win a Necron Overlord, 10 Warriors, uh, as well as 3 Scarabs, and I'll even put them on some Space Tech bases from Demonscapes, if you so wish. Uh, and the winner, once all the numbers have gone, I'll pick a winner at random, uh, and they'll win them fully painted up by myself in any colour scheme of your choice. Uh, nice, I'm not into 40k, my dude, but thanks for letting me know. Yeah, no worries, man. You know, I, I presume you're into AOS, then that's why you're here. <laughs> because Warhammer in general. If you are into AOS, um, on Tuesday, I'm going to be airbrushing my two Gargants. Because uh, I already did one uh, when GW sent me it early. Uh, I did that one, you know, a few weeks ago now. Uh, but I need to get the other two built and paint. Well, the built. Uh, I just need to get them painted so I can actually run battle reports with them in. Nice. Could I get some feedback on a base for my Sylvanas? Yeah, man. Pop a link straight in chat and I'll have a look at it. Let me know what kind of theme you're going for. And what um, If you haven't got a model on it, let me uh, see a picture of your models or, or something along those lines. I'll certainly take a look. I presume you've seen Lucy's Sylvanas, by the way. Holy wow. That is awesome. <laughs> wait there, wait there, wait there. Uh, where am I at? Check out that base, man. Dude, that is awesome. For me, the only thing that... The grass tufts, the rock, the mud looks incredibly realistic, but the log, for me doesn't quite fit it looks a little bit cartoony um have you used cork bark before that's what i would have used i would have put a little bit of cork bark there because it looks very well it is real it's real bark but i would put that there also if you haven't already um i can see a little bit of gloss resin on the water but it's hard to see from this picture um but it might be worth getting some, um, I can't think what it's called, it, 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 it's in a big tub and it's cl like clear gloss stuff. Uh, fluff that up around, I've got some in my drawer actually, I'll, I'll get some out in a, in a few minutes and show you. But possibly fluff that up around the, um, around the waves, sculpting logs. See, that's what that's what I would have done. I wouldn't have even sculpted logs. I'd have genuinely gone and getting some tree branches. Go to your next pick. Yep, give us two seconds. I'm just going to clean my brush. I'll, I'll go and grab some bases that I've got over here and show you. Two seconds. 
two minutes because I've got a metric ton of uh, silver in this brush. Next picture. Oh, that one. That's really nice, but hang on. Have you put? You haven't put the glo oh noise marine coming in with a sub. Thank you very much, noise marine. You're too kind. Yeah, see, I see how you've built it up now. Oh, do I, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, so you definitely need to build some clear resin up on here, as well as around the rocks as well and get it to pull. There's two things. Um, give me two seconds. Right, get some of this. Oh, <laughs> we're there. There, get some of this, right? Put a little bit of tape around the edge and just pour a thin layer of this in and put two or three layers. Yeah, with this, I had to do about three layers on Lucy Sylvanith. You could also use this. This is clear gloss medium. Uh, this is a little bit thicker. Uh, put this around the waves and around the rocks, and you can kind of fluff it up, up a little bit if you use like a, um, like a coffee stirrer. Put that around the rocks. This is about a ten or a tub, but it's it's quite good. Um, so give me two seconds. So if we're talking resin. I went the extreme and I used full resin. Yeah, but see, I, I've used actual tree and actual slate. The waves you use hot glue. It's a very good start for hot glue, but then I would put some of that gloss medium over the top. But there, uh, all of my uh, iron jaws have very similar bases to this. Not as much water as this, um, but then I've also got this. And it's really hard to see because, it, in fact, it's, that's really dusty. <laughs> that's really, really dusty, but like I did fluff it all up around there. Yeah. And see there, actually, I haven't polished it quite as much there because I couldn't get to it properly because of his arm. But there, you can see basically where the polish has stopped when I'm getting around there. But there, that's cork bark. Um, so if you use that, just use a small piece of that to go over the top of it, I think. Uh, that would be a lot... A lot more realistic, I think. <clears throat> But that was actual proper chemical resin. Yeah, I need some of that. Um, use the gel. If you only because yours isn't like massive, but if you wanted to fill the bottom up, uh, I would put some tape around it. Actually, buy some chemical resin, mix it, and pour it into that gap. If you wanted to build it up and, and create like a side bit like that. Might just need to do that with future projects, thanks. Yeah, no worries, man. Also, if you're not following us on YouTube already, go and give us a follow, because we do battle reports and everything uh, over on YouTube. Uh, and you can always get in touch with us through Instagram. I've, I did give you a... F I haven't given you a follow. I've now given you a follow, so if you have any questions, I'm not on Twitch, feel free to drop me a message on Instagram, Facebook, anything you like. Already do, fair enough.
love the vids. Well, thank you very much. It's it's just a shame we can't get more out at the moment whilst it's just me and Lucy because of, you know, COVID restrictions and stuff. And uh, it's a lot to ask of Lucy to essentially, you know, I know she doesn't edit and stuff, but like she does set the tables up. She does get the armies out for me and everything while I'm working. And she's basically 50% of the ch channel at the minute. Uh, and it's a big ask of her and I appreciate it more than she knows. Do these bases read as clouds? Give me a sec. I know where it's going to be and I'm going to say no. Wow! Okay, didn't expect that. Look at that man. Yes. Yes, 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 the readers clouds. Very much so. Oh, Jack's even liked them as well. <laughs> you thought cotton yes I did think cotton. <laughs> That's really nice that man. Is that like sponge painted on? Um, with like a like a stamp, because that that's really cool. I love like the star in the middle. Uh, can I copy that? No, right there. Why can't I copy that? A hole punch, a piece of cardstock, and an airbrush. Nice. Yeah, I see how you've done it now, actually. That's how I did my original backdrops. Um, ages ago. Um, before I bought the professionally printed ones. I'm going to send that to Lucy, actually, because she'll like that. Lucy really, really went off her Stormcast. Uh, a long time ago, unfortunately. I can hear a phone pinging in the other room. I don't know how I feel about the lightning on the hammers though. Nah, I like it. You definitely want that on. It's your first try. But that's amazing, that man. Lucy says the bases are unbelievable. And they are because I always remember like when she read uh, the Gates of Azir book. She was like, I want bases like clouds so it looks like they've just like landed out of the sky. And we tried with like um, glass shards to make it look like crystalline light. And we just couldn't do it. So, yeah, that's really nice. Do, 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 do. 
I do a lot of spray paint art, so the skills come in handy for this hobby. Nice. Yeah, so I did a very similar thing when I originally did my backdrops. Uh, so what I did is I had some black um, foam board, right? And I basically ripped paper in the shape of mountains and then sprayed blue or red so that when you pulled the paper away, it looked like the silhouette of mountains. But then what I did is I sprayed quite a big patch of yellow in a circle, right? Put a paper plate over it and then sprayed like white around it. So it looked like a sun when you pulled it off. So I, I totally, totally get the principle. And I think, you know, people that can do like proper art like that, it, it, it's a phenomenal skill. So hats off to you, man. See, that, now that is outstanding. Look at this, folks. That is amazing. Like, that's fantastic, dude. That's really, really nice. Uh, you ever want to have a chat on Discord and pick my brain about any of it? I'm down, my dude. No worries, man. I love it when you see, like, on Facebook and stuff, and you see, like, time lapse videos of people doing stuff like that, and I just think that's phenomenal. Hey Dracos, hope you're well man, thank you very much for tuning in. Ah, oh, I forgot to use the big brush on all them. So we're currently painting up the new Space Marine Hammerfall bunker. Uh, I don't catch enough of your streams, dude. I'm they were a little bit mixed up for the last couple of months because of you know house move and stuff. But <clears throat> now that we're back to a schedule, it's Sundays. Tuesdays and Thursdays that we will be streaming uh, so make sure you catch us then notice the uh, number of viewers has just jumped up so I'll just let people know once again if you are interested we are doing a bonus ball raffle for a Necron Overlord a squad of warriors and a, a squad of three scarabs uh, Brand new on Sprue, I will build them how you like, paint them how you like, and send them out to the winner. And it is a pound a ticket. Uh, and as soon as we got the 30 tickets sold, I will build and paint them for the winner in any colours. We've got all sorts. We've got uh, Turbo Dark, uh, Metallics and Colour Shift. We've got Green Stuff World Colour Shift Paints. Heck, we've got standard GW paints if that's what you want. So if anybody would like to support the channel, I'm doing that little bonus ball as a way to say thank you. And uh, we'll be putting that towards a box of... Uh, what, are the, what are the new destroyers called? Ophidian destroyers? So yeah, that's that's what the spreadsheet for is for in the bottom corner. 
Uh, you can pick a number for every pound that you donate. And once all the numbers are gone, I will pick a winner at random. And they'll win the Overlord, the Warriors and the Scarabs, painted up by me in any colour of their choice. In any style of their choice. So how are you bring Drag Dracos? What are you working on at the moment? Anything interesting? I thought I'd go for the bunker because I figured it would be nice and easy to paint. Did anyone else pick a bunker up? Or did everyone just go for a tech marine? Just working in shooter box and blender at the moment. Can't be bothered with work tomorrow. Luckily, next week though, I have two days off, which I can't bloody wait for. Uh, I want to grab the tech marine, but I want a lot of them to convert into captains for my sons of Medusa. But why don't you get one Ferros and then two of the Tech Marines? In fact, you do realise you can only have one Captain per detachment, Jacob. And I can't imagine you taking more than one detachment because then you lose command points. Just do one and magnetize them. But yeah, you can only have one captain per detachment now, Jacob. One captain and one upgrade at the chat master. True. Yeah, my plan was to mix detachments, have a son of Medusa for sticking around on objectives and shooting while a patrol of Black Templars, backed up by chaplains, go forth with them to second close combat, do the rest. 
only real close combat unit and one for my sons of Medusa, Ironclad Dreadnought. So yeah, that, that's going to cost you 2 CP to do that. And you would lose your Super Doctrines, I believe. You still get access to like Devastate, Tactical and Assault Doctrine, but you lose the bonuses. If your whole army isn't from the same... The uh, same chapter. I mean, Daniel will probably correct us if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. As a trait, I'm used to spend CP on allies. Uh, I'm not sure about the Super Doctrine, so I'm unsure that would make use of them. Uh, so the Super Doctrines, for example, whilst the Blood Angels are in the Assault Doctrine, they get an extra attack on the charge. Whilst Ultramarines are in the Tactical Doctrine, they can move and shoot without penalty. Um, I can't remember some of the other ones. Imperial Fists, whilst they are in the Devastator Doctrine... Uh, weapons against vehicles do an extra damage. The Dark Angel one is plus six inches to your weaponry, whilst in the Devastator Doctrine. I think Iron Hands was reroll ones, whilst in the Devastator Doctrine. What would be the Iron Hands one? And I heard Black Templars one lost theirs completely. Um, I don't think they did for the minute. Daniel, can you answer? Um, I don't know where my codex is. Otherwise, I could have told you. Oh, no, I can't tell you what any of them are because they're all in their supplements. And I don't have the Iron Hands or Black Templar supplement. The Salamander one, though, was plus one to wound with Melter and Flamer weapons um, when the Tactical Doctrine was active. And obviously that this is all on top of their chapter traits as well. Imperial Fist Doctrine got nerfed so that heavy weapons need to be strength 7. Yeah, I know that one. Have you any idea what the Black Templar or Iron Hands ones are? I know Black Templars lost their Knights of Sigismund trait. Don't forget Jacob, it's only till they get their supplement. 
but even when they get the supplement if you mix chapters you don't get your super doctrine like that extra attack on turn three for blood angels is just so clutch man Yeah, it's probably not that, it's probably something much more than that, but I, I don't know what the Iron Hands one was. But like the Ultramarine one, like, Countless having remained stationary, like that, that's, that's big. Right, so I'm going to do a little bit of a highlight with some lighter silver, I think. to give it a bit extra depth. Iron Hand Super Doctrine was in Heavy gives real hit rolls of one for heavy ones and countered as stationary if moved. Yeah, see, that's massive. So not only would you technically lose that, Jacob, you would then also lose, uh, which one was it? The Knights of Sigismund, obviously, because you will get that back when they eventually update the rules properly because it's only been two weeks since the marine boot come out so essentially you wouldn't get the knights of sigismund and you wouldn't get re-roll hit rolls of a one and counters remain stationary and like to lose that across both parts of your army then why do you need to take templars why can't you just do the same thing with iron hands do you know what i mean that's why they designed it that way, so that you can't soup armies.
that's fair. Don't feel like I'm missing too much on the iron hand unless I'm playing with a lot of infantry with heavy weapons. Uh, I'm going more mech with dreads and vehicles. Yeah, but see, then you're not getting your reroll ones. It will come back. All the marines are getting it. You alright, Lou? Okay, I'm only going to be about 20 minutes, I reckon. Right, here we go. Let's put stuff together, folks. I know I need to do some gold and stuff, but I f feel I can probably do them while it's attached and together. I look forward to a Primaris Hellbrecht for reroll ones. It feels nice, but would I definitely need it, especially when I'm only using it for turn one? I don't know. Well, it would be two turns, really, because you can use the stratagem to turn the Doctrines from Tactical back to Devastator. And obviously, if Hellbrecht's already moved up, and then all them Dreadnoughts are not getting the reroll ones, you could just get it. Oh yeah, and, and the Space Marines have got a stratagem to make one unit, uh, one core unit, have all of the Doctrines active. Oh, I forgot to paint that ring silver. Fairly use it, yeah.
Lucy's watching extreme cake makers, I can hear it. Yeah, that's true, Daniel. Should fit on the bean pin. Yeah, they're nice and snug. So I don't even need to magnetize them because look, they just fit in really snugly. Because the paint basically keeps them in place. I'm happy with that.
I just pinned all that and I totally didn't even need to, did I? <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have pinned that at all. <laughs> Oops. Sit flush. I remember playing the game, but reading this and listening to you was bloody interesting. <laughs> well, if you want to see how a game's played, uh, I have several, um, well, I say several, probably hundreds of uh, battle reports, which is basically videos of the games that I've played uh, over on YouTube. Uh, so go and give us a follow over on there, uh, Dragos. And there's some, some stuff is a bit more complex than others but if you if you in a small game it's not it's not overly complex um i would recommend probably if you you're interested in looking into a game probably look at an age of sigma one because that is it is a simplified version of 40k but it's a more strategic game about where you place your models there's a lot there's almost no shooting in age of sigma whoa 8 and 15, please. Absolutely, Jacob. Number 8 and number 15. But yeah, Age of Sigma is... As a game system, I prefer Age of Sigma 40k. Models and law, I much prefer 40k. Still got a lot of golds to go. I need to paint the missiles yellow. A lot of like the bolt and everything need paint and gold. Um, and the Aquilas of course on the front. Only Dakar Army and Sigmar is carried in overlords and they redeploy their ships every turn. Yeah. I'd like to try Warcry one day, only ever had bad experiences with AOS. Why? AOS is fantastic. It's so much better than 40k as a game. I may never play, but I'm balls deep on the modeling and painting. I would definitely give you a follow on YouTube and watch it. Load. No worries, man. Thank you very much. Um I put I've recently put two uh, Sons of Beermat battle report out, uh, Dracos, and they're only 1,000 point games. Um, 
so that's half the size of a normal game that you'd play so I'd recommend watching them um, where, when you if you have a look at the war scrolls actually on either download the AOS app or the war scrolls are on the Warhammer uh, Games Workshop website it's a fix to hit roll it's a fix to wound roll it's got a uh, uh, rend I think it's called in Sigma I get rendered AP the wrong way around because different systems same thing um, and then that negatives they're saved by that much um, and then um, obviously they then roll the saves there's a bit more to it than that obviously you know you've got to move first then you shoot then you charge then you do your combats and so forth but uh, Sigma is a much more enjoyable system fixed to hit and wound roll yes but but that's just what that war scroll does if your opponent has minus one, oh, not a clue. Okay, um, I haven't got a, a, a homie books over there. In fact, hang on. Is it in there? Yes. So, ignore the fact that, that, that this is a giant, right? So this is your war scroll. Now, giants are five hundred points, right? That is a quarter of an army. Okay. And that's in Spanish, so let's go in English one. So he has 35 wounds. He has a 4 plus save. Well, just so you so you notice, right? So this guy, he's almighty stump. He has two attacks. So you'd roll two dice and you need a three to hit. So any three plus that you do roll to hit, you then need to roll to wound on a three plus. So you need a three to wound your opponent. You minus your opponent's save characteristic by two. So this guy has a six, four save, for example. If he gets hit with minus two, he drops to a six plus save. And then the damage is, let's say, d6, which is a six-sided dice. You could roll a one, you could roll a six. Whereas this weapon, for example, is flat damage two. So when I say fixed roll, that's what you need to hit on. That's what you roll the wound on. That's how much it affects the opponent's save, and that's how many wounds it inflicts. So, some things that are like this, for example, with a star on, the number of attacks you get with the club depends on how hurt you are. So, the more hurt you are, the less attacks you have. <laughs> so, 40k is a little harder than that, but that is an Age of Sigmar War Scroll. It might be, but I've only had bad experiences with the game. First time when AOS first launched, I had a Bloodthirster, a Corn Demon Prince, and a full Warriors of Corn army thrown at a starter set of Stormcast at the time. Second time was when AOS Second Edition launched. I had a full 2,000 points of Sylvanath versus Slanesh Demons. I feel I and my opponent came to the game for very different reasons. I came to learn Second Edition whilst my opponent came to show me how you could break AOS and got a turn one and two charge off with Keeper of Secrets. Yeah, that's the thing with Slanesh, though. That is how speedy they are. If that's what he was showing you, then absolutely not. You shouldn't have. Jacob, go and watch those two 1,000 point battle reports I put, right? They're about 50 minutes each, which is half the length of a normal sized game. And honestly, have a look at them and you'll see how fun it is. Seems pretty straightforward, mate. Yeah, like the actual physically going through the motions, Dracos, isn't that hard. When it starts to get more difficult is when you look at allegiance abilities. So, for example, uh, for Space Marines, like Blood Angels get plus one to wound in combat. Um, Iron Hands get a six up shrug after their save. Um, they all have different allegiance abilities. Then you can give a character a relic, so their weapon might be slightly different, or the armor might be slightly different to what's on the war scroll. And that's when it starts to get a little bit more complicated. But you don't have to even play your allegiance abilities. All the specials, yes, exactly. So you could just literally play what is there on front in front of you and play the game. And it's that easy. You don't have to worry about all the extras. Um yeah, you can literally just go through the motions of what's on your war scroll till you get used to it. And when Lucy started playing, that's exactly what she did. She picked like four or five units from the army that she had and was like, right, I'm just going to learn what these units do. I'm not going to play all my allegiance abilities. 
I, I don't want to know until I'm comfortable with the units. Yeah, good night, Daniel. But yeah, Dracos, um, if you need any advice or you want to ask us anything, feel free to drop us a message on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. Um, but yeah, um, leave any comments on any YouTube videos if you have any questions. Uh, I'll get notifications for that and I can reply to you on there as well. Um, but AOS is, AOS is a cool game. It, it, it's much more preferable for me than a game of 40k. Um, however, on that note, folks, uh, it is 10.30 and it's a little bit later than what I thought, but I started late. Uh, so I'm now going to say goodnight. We are going to raid 40k Epic Narrator, who was in here earlier. Uh, go and give him a follow. Uh, how do I do this? I'm forgetting how to... Does that work? Yes. Uh, he was in here earlier. He's got a fantastic YouTube channel uh, talking about lore. And he's currently painting up some Hero Quest models. Hero Quest, yes, from the 80s. That kind of Hero Quest. Go and give him a follow, guys. Uh, and I'll catch you again very soon.